Hello. We are going to be looking at the basis of inheritance. We are going to learn the mechanisms by which genetic information is transmitted from parents to their offspring and from one generation to another. I am Dr. Henry Kuchupu. So join me. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So let's look at the basis of inheritance. So, we are going to look at uh, the cell and the uh, inheritance. What role does the cell play in inheritance? Alright. Yes. Let's have a look at the animal cell. The animal cell has two distinct parts, which includes the cytoplasm and the nucleus. The cytoplasm constitutes uh, the major part of the cell, uh, while the nucleus is just a small portion of the cell. Alright, so right inside the nucleus, we have uh, a network of material that we call chromatin. So the chromatin, you know, uh, gives rise to the chromosomes during the time of uh, cell division. It's from chromatin to chromosomes during cell division. Yes. Messages for protein synthesis are usually encoded right inside the nucleus of the cell. Yeah. So, the cytoplasm contains uh, you know, several organelles you know, which have their various functions. Such organelles like the mitochondria, which is responsible for respiration and is also the powerhouse of the cell, the source of energy. Now we have the Golgi bodies, which are responsible for secretion. Then we have uh, the ribosome, which is where uh, proteins are synthesized. So you can see that each organelle inside the cytoplasm of the cell has a, a specific function that it plays. All right. So now the question I want to ask you is, where are proteins synthesized in the cell? Where are proteins synthesized? Is it inside the nucleus or the cytoplasm? All right. Proteins are synthesized right inside the ribosome of the cytoplasm, but the information that is required for proteins to be synthesized is usually encoded right inside the nucleus before they are now sent into the ribosome where the proteins are actually synthesized. I hope that is clear. All right, so let's look at the types of cells. We have uh, two types of cells. And somatic cells or body cells we also have reproductive cells or gametes or sex cells. All right. So, what are their roles in inheritance? Uh, let's go. Somatic cells determines the body structure and are also responsible for growth and repair of body of the organism yeah that's what somatic cells do all right reproductive cells on the other hand you know, are responsible for the transmission of genetic material that is the dna or the gene from parents to their offspring and from one generation to another you can see that each one has a role to play so reproductive cells are um the spermatozoa in the male and the the ova in the female. So those are the uh, you know cells that transfer genetic material from one generation to another. All right. So let's look at uh, chromosomes. What are chromosomes? That is another question I would want you to answer. What are chromosomes, and what is the function? What is their role? What role do chromosomes play? All right. Before we answer that question, so 
I want us to look at a uh, farm animal species like uh, cattle. You know, cattle is a large ruminant because of its big size. It has billions of cells which you can see through the microscope. Assuming a cell is taken and it's opened and you look inside a, a cell, what are you going to see? You are going to see a, a, a lot of you know organelles right inside. See the nucleus, all right? Now, if you open the nucleus, you are going to see you know uh, the the chromosomes, right? They are located right inside the nucleus, and right inside the the chromosomes, you see the genetic material, uh, which we call uh, the deoxyribonucleic acid in short form. DNA. Okay, so the DNA looks like uh, a, a long twisted ladder with you know rungs. R U N G S. Yes. So the rungs there represents the nitrogenous the nitrogenous basis. You know, All right. So you can see what the structure looks like. That's the DNA. Okay. So. The DNA contains uh, basically two types of bases, that is uh, the pyrimidines and the purines. And uh, uh, how they are arranged, right, I said the DNA is beyond the scope of this lesson. So in our next lecture, we are going to talk about that. So so what are chromosomes? They are thread-like structures uh, that carry the genetic material, that is the gene or the DNA, you know, and the one thing about them is that they are wrapped around proteins called histones. Okay, so their basic function is to ensure that the, the genetic materials you know, are correctly and accurately you know copied from you know, from, well, you know they are properly distributed during the time of cell division. Okay, all right. So you can see the role of chromosomes that they are responsible for carrying the genes and for ensuring that they are properly co and accurately copied during the time of cell division. So chromosome number is the next thing we are going to look at. Every species of farm animal you know, has a, a defined number of chromosomes that it contains. You understand? Like half cattle has its own number of you know, uh, chromosomes, the sheep has its own number of chromosomes. So the full chromosome complement of uh, any farm animal species is referred to as the karyotype. Okay. We have the different types of chromosomes, the sex chromosomes, you know, then we have uh, the ordinary chromosomes. Okay. So the sex chromosomes, you know that they are responsible for you know determining whether an individual is going to be a male or a female. Right. So let's look at um, how uh, chromosomes vary from one farm animal species to another. So we're going to look at cattle, sheep, goats, you know, poultry species and all that. So in cattle, we have 60 chromosomes, which is 30 pairs. Goat has 60 chromosomes, which is also 30 pairs. Sheep has uh, 54 chromosomes, which is uh, that. So see how the number varies from one farm animal species to the other. So among all the chromosomes that an animal species you know, has, only one pair make up the sex chromosome, while the rest you know, constitute what we call the ordinary chromosomes. Okay? So, let's go. Alright, so let's look at the, the uh, cell division. We have two types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. So what are they? What happens during the time of uh, cell division? What happens? So during cell division, somatic cells multiply by the process of uh, mitosis. So mitotic you know, cell division produces daughter cells you know, that have the same number of uh, chromosome complement as uh, you know, the parents. Okay, that is a diploid number of chromosomes. That's a mitosis. 
But on the other hand, reproductive uh, cells, you know, undergo what we call meiotic cell division or meiosis to produce uh, gametes with half the full chromosome complement. That is haploid number of uh, chromosomes of that organism. All right. So the diploid state is normally restored during the time of fertilization. That is when the, when the, the sperm cell and the, the ovum fuse together. You know, you now have a, a full diploid state restored. All right. So in summary, what we've talked about, what have you learned? So the basis of inheritance is the genetic material found in the cell. Chromosomes are the carriers of the genetic material from one generation to another. The chromosomes, the chromosome complements of a species is referred to as karyotype. All right? So the number of uh, chromosomes vary from one species to another. Okay? So finally, among the full chromosome complements of a particular species, only one pair of chromosomes make up what we call the sex chromosome, while the rest are autosomes or ordinary chromosomes. I believe you have learned the basis of inheritance. You have learned the role that cells play in inheritance. Thank you so much. God bless you.